Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg and this is the Outdoor Report. Tonight we're in the boat with Jason and Jason and we're catching eel pound! We all fish on. I haven't even put my bait in the water yet. Ha <laughs> ha It's a burb. When it comes to eel pout, aka burbot, there seems to be a love-hate relationship. Thanks for netting it. <laughs> Going on hook it? My hands are dry. <laughs> These guys don't hide their feelings for the species. It's a good good start. It ain't bad. 42 feet. How, how, how many have you caught? How many times have you jigged? For whatever reason, in the last few years, I have fell in love with these fish. Not a big one, but... Hey, it's a burb. It's a burbot. What we've done is kind of targeted those same areas where we've caught them in the winter. I guess I approach them a lot like I do a walleye. I'm looking at, at some mid-lake humps or some sharp shoreline breaks, hard bottom. Uh, these fish typically are eating crayfish, so we're looking where the crayfish at, there should be burbot there. What we've got is a big nasty trout and pout spoon. So it's just, it's lead based. It's got a rattle inside of it. You can see that right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pound this on the bottom on that treble hook. Jason's cut the, the shiner in half. And that is so we get a lot of scent in the water. The eel pout actually don't have great eyesight, which is why we have the glow spoon, which is why we have the minnow cut in half. Uh, we wanna give them every way possible to find our bait. Got one. Feels better. A little bit bigger than the last couple. There he that is. That water's so clear, you can see him so far down. I know. So cool. Color the cool in the water. Then you have to take them out of the water. <laughs> now they don't look very cool. <laughs> we just want to get a bend in the rod and have a good time and share some laughs. And that's what fishing is. It's not necessarily about, you know, catching that record. It's not necessarily about putting something on the wall or even bringing something home for dinner. Even though eel pout are great to eat, but we just want to have a good time. We're just here to have fun. As with any fishing, the burbot bite can come and go. But when you're in the boat with Jason and Jason, there's plenty of entertainment. This is probably going to be the world's worst uh, three minutes of internet video. It's going to be a short one. Sorry. Sorry, everybody at home. <laughs> Bandwidth usage is down. We now return you to your regularly <laughs> scheduled program. I'm really mad I called it the internet when you said that. I should have called it the interwebs. Well, that's what it is, the interwebs. I like to call it the interwebs. I'm sorry, interwebs. <laughs> this is terrible. Jason's trying to go home. It's not like home. It's like not home. Russia! <laughs> down on me. Crushing down on you. Preparing for. What does he say there? I don't know. I think I nailed it. <laughs> when you're weary, yes. feeling small, <laughs> this time I will drive them all home. Bazingo. When you're weary and it's small. Look at them. Really digging in. I just like watching them swim sometimes. I prefer all. The when pain <laughs> is all around, I'll catch them all. So what did we learn? You can catch burbot out of a boat, and it helps to serenade the fish. Whoa! Go! Go! 